秘伝の地に侵入者を差し向けるという勝手なことをした愚かな貴族の首だ受け取ってほしいいただこうどうするか処分はもったいないな行け列に並べさてジルクニフルーンファーロードエルニクス Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video guide on how to level the Necromancer in Last Epoch. I will try to give you insight and strategies to help you master the art of leveling your Necromancer from level 1 to 50. Whether you are a seasoned player or new to the game, this guide will aim to equip you with the knowledge and tactic needs to dive in the world of Last Epoch. But remember, Last Epoch is the game of choices and customization. While the guide will serve as solid foundation, feel free to adapt and experiment with your own playstyle. So, let's dive into the depths of Last Epoch and unlock the true potential of your Necromancer. We prepared this guide with 8 points, so let's go through it. Starting skills. At level 1, you will have access to the Summon Skeleton skill. This will be your primary skill for early leveling. Allocate these points to improve its damage and summon more skeletons. Passive 3. When it will be possible after you choose your master, focus on the Necromancer's passive 3 to enhance your summoning abilities and your own survivability. Prioritize nodes that increase minion damage and minion health. Summon Skeleton Mage. At level 4, unlock the Summon Skeleton Mage skill. This will provide additional range damage to complement your melee skeletons. Allocate skill points to improve their damage and summon more mages. Acolyte Tree. Invest some points in the Acolyte Tree to unlock the new skills and passives. Consider unlocking skills like Harvest, Transplant, or wandering spirits to find out your own playstyle. Minion support skills. As you level up, unlock and allocate skill points to support skills that enhance your minion's performance. Skills like Dreadshade or Sacrifice can boost your minion's damage and they are totally worth to check it out. Equipment. Prioritize gear with bonuses to minion damage, minion health and add other relevant stats for your build. Look for the items with enough forging potential for further enhance your minion abilities. Active skills. Experiment with different active skills as you progress. Skills like Bone Nova, Summon Wrath or Rip Blood can provide additional damage or utility based on your own playstyle. Respect. Don't be afraid to respect your skill points if you want to try different builds or optimize your character. Last Epoch allows you to reset your skill points and passives at any time. You can find down below link to my build which I used for leveling my Necro. You don't need any special gear for it. I believe Necromancer is very easy to play at the beginning of the game and it will give you a lot of fun. Remember, this is a just basic guide and you can customize your build based on your preferences and playstyle. Have fun exploring the world of Last Epoch and experimenting with different Necromancer builds. I hope this will help you to start your journey at Last Epoch and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments. Thanks for your time and have fun! アインズールゴンならばその名にかけて敗北はありえないボディーオブイファルジェントベリル<笑>やはりそうか<笑>